The Bolshevik Revolution, otherwise known as the October Revolution, began in 1917. It forever changed the Russian people and the world. This is how it began. Poverty, crime, privilege, and class division plagued Russia. A new era of socialism promised peace, prosperity, and equality for all. As a result of the Great World War in Europe, there was a necessity for change in Russia. World War I caused immense famine in Russia. After the discovery of the intentional hoarding of bread, the working class of St. Petersburg began protesting, eventually leading to the demand of the end of the Russian monarchy. These protests soon turned violent, and soldiers were soon called to remove these rebels. Eighty men, women, and children were shot and killed by police and soldiers. Even the Cossacks turned on the Tsar and sided with the people after the kindness shown by a little girl. All of this transpired while Tsar Nicholas II was focused on the war program against Germany. In response to these rebellions, the Tsar sent orders to more army units to kill. The rebels were not phased. Their slogan was freedom or death. The soldiers were initially hesitant to kill, but were forced when their superiors threatened their lives. This military retaliation killed 50. However, the Tsar failed to end the protests. These soldiers were devastated by what had just transpired. One soldier, Sergei Kapishnikov, said, Our fathers, mothers, sisters, brothers, and brides are begging for bread. Are we going to kill them too? This event caused the army to side with the civilians. The mutineers gathered support with other soldiers for strength in numbers. The Tsar's personal train was stopped by a rebel blockade on a return trip from Germany, forcing him to stay idle. For the first time, the Tsar realized that the Romanov dynasty might be coming to an end. On January 28, 1918, the Council of People's Commissioners created the Red Army and it was founded by Leon Trotsky. Its purpose was to the defense of the achievements of the October Revolution and the Soviet power and socialism. All citizens of all of the Russian Republic over 18 were eligible to join. The council became the supreme head over the Red Army. The supreme commander-in-chief was Nikolai Krylenko. At the start of the war, it compromised of 298 infantry regiments. By the end of the revolution, it compromised of 83% ex sardis soldiers. The Bolshevik Red Army made alliances with other left pro-revolutionary groups to fight against the White Army. The Allied forces intervened and notably fought against the Red Army. The Allies saw this as a threat and that its ideas would spread west. Winston Churchill declared that the Bolshevism must be strangled in its cradle. The Bolshevism overthrew the provisional government in a raid that lasted hours. Now, Lenin could honor his honor of peace. During the Great War, the Germans advanced through the Eastern Front with no resistance that lasted 11 days. The Soviets signed a Treaty of Res Litvosk, they saw it as the only means to stop the war. By 1920, much of the fighting ended, but there were still certain areas that continued resistance until 1923. February 1st, 1924, Great Britain officially recognized the Soviet Union as a country, and the Soviet Union ratified the Soviet Constitution, legitimizing the country. Following the death of Soviet hero Vladimir Lenin, Joseph Stalin rose to power. Although Stalin had been a leader of the revolution, his beliefs clashed with that of Soviet military leader Leon Trotsky, causing Stalin to exile Trotsky. Following Stalin's gradual rise to absolute power in the Soviet Union, he began implementing powerful economic plans through the Bolshevik initial decrees, the five-year plans, and command economy. One of the biggest accomplishments from these decrees was Go Elra, which provided electricity to all of the USSR, which was accomplished through the building of ten massive hydroelectric power plants, as well as many other electrically powered enterprises. Five-year plans were centralized economic plans in which the State Planning Committee will vote on how plans to handle economic development over the next five years will be handled. These plans caused a massive increase in the industrial development of the Soviet Union because Stalin believed that the most important process to creating a utopia was through the success of these plans. These plans started small so that the goals were always attainable, but after every five years, when a new plan was set, the goals would be higher. As a result of Stalin's economic ideology, 
the USSR turned into a global industrial power, putting itself on the path to becoming a world power. One of the tragedies of the Soviet Union was its use of penal labor camps in the remote location of Siberia. These camps were for people who committed crimes against the nation and Stalin. As a result of the massive deportation of people, the Soviet food production drastically declined. This caused the Soviet famine in 1932 and 33. This famine was immense and killed millions. Another stand on the Soviet Union legacy was the Great Purge. In the Great Purge, Stalin had hundreds of thousands of people executed, including Red Army leaders charging them with attempts to overthrow the Soviet government. 1939, the Soviet Union and Germany agreed to the Soviet-Germany Non-Aggressive Pact giving the Soviet Union land formerly owned by the Russian Empire. In addition, both Germany and the Soviet Union agreed not to attack each other. During World War II, the Soviet Union sided with the Allied forces in an effort to defeat the Axis powers. Germany invaded the Soviet Union for the second time within two decades. In order to prevent future attacks, the Soviet Union used war as an excuse to strengthen its western borders and spread communism. Since the Soviets couldn't defeat Germany alone, it partnered with the Allies. The deal was the Allies would help defeat the Nazis and the Soviets would help defeat Italy and Japan. Although the Allies followed through on their promise, the Soviets reneged. Instead of helping with Italy and Japan, the Soviets were busy strengthening their borders. After World War II, the United States and the Soviet Union emerged as superpowers and divided Germany and Berlin. Nuclear war also seemed to be on the brink, but over the, the course of the next 45 years, no physical violence between the two occurred. Whether it was on ice, in space, building missiles, or pol politically with their own citizens through espionage and propaganda, the United States and the Soviet Union were constantly competing against each other. In 1948, by blocking all of the Allies' access to West Berlin, the Soviet Union instituted the Berlin Blockade, essentially cutting off supplies to Berlin. In response to the blockade, the Allies led by the United States began a highly successful massive airlift to supplies group. In 1949, realizing the blockade failed, Stalin ended it. This served as a major black eye to the Soviet Union, but also served as the beginning to the economic prosperity. In 1953, Joseph Stalin died, a power struggle ensued, and Nikita Khrushchev took power. His reign was a rather unproductive one as it consisted of unsuccessful administrative and agricultural reforms. This culminated with the debacle of placing nuclear missiles in Cuba and the ensuing Cuban Missile Crisis. He was soon removed from power after a 12-year reign. Following Kreshnikov's removal, there was another struggle for power in the Soviet Union, mainly consisting of a collective rule until the early 1970s when Lenoid Brezhnev established himself as the ruler of the Soviet Union. His rule was popular among the people and caused them to want another leadership similar to that of Brezhnev after his death in 1982. On August 13, 1961, the Soviet Union began building the Berlin Wall to prevent the embarrassing migration of citizens in East Berlin from escaping to West Berlin. East Berliners were much worse off than the economically prosperous West Berliners with their Western ties. The Berlin Wall became a physical boundary known as the Iron Curtain. It separated communist Eastern Europe with the mostly democratic Western, Northern, and Southern Europe. The wall caused many families to split and severe unemployment among citizens of East Berlin since the jobs they had in West Berlin were lost. Following two brief and ineffective stints by others, Mikhail Gorbachev was appointed leader of the Soviet Union. He implemented many changes, one of which was ending the bloody nine-year war with Afghanistan. Perhaps most important was ending the Soviet chokehold over the Eastern Bloc nations. On June 12, 1987, U.S. President Ronald Reagan challenged Gorbachev to tear down the Berlin Wall as a symbol of the increased freedom with this famous quote, Mr. Gorbachev, please tear down this wall. On November 9, 
Gorbachev ordered for the gates to be opened and the wall to be torn down. After much deliberation on December 8, 1991, the President of Russia, Ukraine, Belarus, declared the Soviet Union to be officially dissolved, effectively ending the reign of the Soviet Union. From 1917 to 1991, the Bolshevik Revolution, the revolution that changed the world and the Russian people for 74 years. From its involvement in World War II, the Cold War, and the fall of the Berlin Wall, these ideals brought by such leaders influenced many nations ranging from good to bad. This was the Bolshevik Revolution.